And now we're going to show you how to complete the summary section of your specification for your patent application. The summary section is the very last thing we do and it's entirely derivative from the claims, which is why they do the claims first. The abstract is also derivative from the claims. We do that right before the summary section. That was the last video that you watched. We created your abstract or we showed you how to create your abstract. So I can show you in this specification, which is the same spec for the, uh, the telephone dialer uh, that we used for the abstract. The abstract is here, but we have removed the summary section. So there's no summary section here. Here's how you create the summary. You go back to the claims and notice that there are six claims in this application and the first three are system claims, one independent, two dependent. Uh, the last three claims, four, five, and six, uh, number four is an independent method claim, five and six are dependent method claims. In any case, block all of the claims, copy, control C. Now we go to the summary section cursor here, control V for paste. Now we've pasted the claims in exactly the way they, they were written for this patent application into the summary section. What we're going to do is create a narrative restatement of the claims in a little different way than we did for the abstract. So let's go to claim one, put the cursor here and, and tab. Now we're going to start the very first portion of the summary by saying in one embodiment of the invention. Delete the number, the period, the spaces, and the opening article A. Use a small a, lowercase. In one embodiment of the invention, a user-operated system for causing a landline telephone to dial a destination. Right before the comma, before comprising, we add the language is provided. We leave in the comprising, we back off the colon, use the delete key to bring the rest of the claim language forward. So now we have to dial a destination is provided comprising a mobile telephony device, so on. We come to the first semicolon, we make that a comma, and Again, using the delete key, a dialer extension. We come to the last semicolon, make that a comma, add a space, delete again to bring the language forward, where a telephone number is selected and so forth, down to the period. So you can see the process. We start with in one and bottom of the invention, and we use the claim language up to the comma right before comprising, which would be here. We add, the, we add the words, the phrase is provided, leave the comma, and leave comprising, and then we use the claim language, changing the uh, semicolons to commas the rest of the way. So we have the first paragraph of our summary, and that is the invariable method that we use in every patent application and every specification for creating a summary. Now the first dependent claim, we indent, we bring the claim language forward, and we say also in one embodiment, and then we delete the language up past the word wherein, delete. Also in one embodiment, the telephone number is selected from a contact list, two spaces, also in one embodiment, again, delete everything up to and including where in, and we have also in one embodiment the telephone number is entered by a user on a keypad and so forth. Now we come to the method claim which is in itself an independent claim. So we start invariably with the language for the first independent claim after 
after the dependent claims. We tab and we say in another aspect of the invention. Use the delete key to bring the language forward and delete the number and period and so forth. Change a method to lowercase. In another aspect of the invention, a method for dialing a destination on a landline telephone is provided. Comprising the steps A, change semicolon to a comma, B, semicolon to a comma, C, semicolon to a comma, D, semicolon to a comma, and E, dialing the destination by the landline telephone. So now we have a paragraph in narrative form for the independent method claim. So now we go to the first dependent method claim and we say in one embodiment of the method. And again, we delete everything up to and including wherein. Sorry, we don't want to delete in one the, the word method. Okay, up to and including where in, delete. In one embodiment of the method, the telephone number is selected and so forth. A couple of spaces, bring the language forward. Also, got to know how to spell also in one embodiment. Up through where in, comes out. The telephone number is entered by a user on a keypad of the mobile device. And that is all of the claims turned into a narrative form for the summary. And we can bring the brief description, uh, use uh, delete key to take care of the spacing down to brief description of the drawing figures. So you can see now our summary section is complete and is a narrative restatement of the claim with a very specific language um, system um, that we can use invariably the same way to create the summary section for every patent application that we write. Now if we had 35 claims we very likely would not use all of the claims in the summary section and you can make a choice in such a case. Uh, Let's say we had 20 claims and we had two independent claims. We might use the first independent claim and the first two dependent claims from the first independent claim and then do um, in another aspect of the invention bring in the method claim uh, and use a selected few of the claims in the summary instead of every single claim which makes the summary rather long. Uh, but in this case where we had exactly six claims, uh, it was relatively short. There's no, uh, no problem with using all six claims to create the narrative form for the summary. So that finishes the job. Your specification, once you follow this demonstration for creating your summary, should essentially be finished. And you are ready to go to step number 14 for how to file your patent application. So your specification is complete. Congratulations on a job well done.